Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Lapix. Got another video for you guys today. Got this nice MacBook Air M1. It's the A2337 model. And yes, we want to make sure that we never give up. So, <laughs> we have this in for repair today. It's not powering on. And uh, the main focus on this is really to get the data. So, uh, what we want to do is we want to focus mainly on that. But it's not powering on. We need to see what's going on. So, there's something obvious going on here. Um, we see that... It's not getting the correct voltage and ampage, right? So no current going through as well. Um, but we need to see maybe that's caused by some type of damage. Um, since I do have it open, I see a little bit of stains maybe closer. You see that? It kind of looks like there's like liquid uh, where the metal is. You see the metal shining off the Wi-Fi connection and then obviously here too. Maybe there's some type of liquid. That's probably what we're uh, expecting. So we're going to go lift up the board and then uh, let's take it out and then see if there's anything obvious there and then measure it and see if there's anything else because we want to eliminate... Um, anything else we want to make sure that this is obviously a board repair and we want to make sure there's no other issues so let's get it right into it let's remove the board and let's take a look okay so we removed the board um just see there's obviously a little bit of like stains there so that could indicate like a liquid spill but i don't see anything that just really stands out uh, but let's see if the symptoms change so let's go ahead and plug this in and see if anything and we also obviously don't see anything on the bottom here that's really obvious like uh, on the other side here but it still could be liquid, right? It's always hard to, to tell until you go under a microscope there. So let's go ahead and plug this in and see what, what changes here. If anything changes. Because now our battery is disconnected. So we're getting about 5 volts. And now you see it's going all the way back down to about 0.03 amps. Oh, now it's actually turned off and it's resetting. Let's try to see if we get the same thing over on this one. 5 volts, 0.21, maybe it'll drop to. Okay, so about 0.03. So it looks like there is a short, there's a problem going on here. We need to see what that problem is. Uh, usually it's more indicated of the circuit here. This is usually around the CD32 uh, circuit. This is the, uh, which pretty much converts the voltage right from your 5 volts to what it needs to actually get up here. So um, let's go ahead and take a look under the microscope, see if we see anything obvious, and then we can try probably putting on a thermal cam if you don't see anything from there. So let's let's try that. Okay, so let's do a scan. Um, start more of the obvious area. See if there's anything that we notice. As everything, this is pretty much like a phone, right? Uh, it's an ARM chip, so everything's more centralized. You got SSD, a CPU, everything, GPU, all in one thing. So let's look, I'm always curious to see under here, see if there's any little spot of corrosion or something because this is usually the circuit here. These are CD3217 B12s. Um, they are your pretty much, um, you can see obviously it's right next to where the port is and this can usually regulate the voltage. It does lots of different things. Um, so, and usually if you're getting around five volts, that's probably one of the, the concerns here is that maybe the circuit, maybe not necessarily the chip, but maybe something wrong on the circuit. No obvious liquid spill, no obvious uh, damaged components. Looks to be very clean. It's not much here anyway. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to pull this out. Let's go into thermal cam. So I'll check, go to my screen capture. You can see this component actually getting warm over there. You see that? How it kind of goes on and off. It gets warm. Watch, it's going to flare up again. The left there, the top, in the middle. See, it's getting really bright, then it kind of dies every time. Okay, so we have a board view here, and we see that the chip that was giving us an issue seems to be the UEC710. And now, not necessarily that this could always be the problem, because again, this is usually a circuit. And what sometimes a thermal cam can show you can a little bit mislead you. You never want to totally rely on that. But what we want to do first, let's see if we uh, remove it and replace it and see if we still get any type of symptoms. And if we do, uh, we can go ahead. Okay, so let's remove it. Just use a little bit of hot air, some flux. Just clean it up a little bit, and we'll do a bit of replacement for it. So we replaced the UC710, and we still were having an issue. But we did notice that this one was starting to act up now, and we need to do a replacement on that. And that is the UF260. So we're going to go ahead and replace this one, and then see if the behavior changes, and hopefully it's going to work. All right, so now let's replace the UF260. 
We're going to be doing the same process here. Some flux, hot air. Just remove it, comes up. And we also have our donor ready. We're just going to go ahead and put in the donor. Now let's go ahead and test it and see if it works. Okay, so let's see here, because so we did the repair. And let's plug it in. See, we're getting our voltage, 20 volts. Amps are cranking up. I've got Apple logo. This is M1, whoops, I can't <laughs> get a little option. And it looks like it's booting to the screen, so it looks like it's working. So anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video on doing the fix for the A2337 um, M1 MacBook Air. If you did leave, if you did, just please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We have lots of MacBook, MacBook uh, motherboard repairs, logic board repairs, however you want to call it on this channel. We do lots of liquid spill repairs. We also do data recoveries as well on that one. And hope you guys enjoyed, learned something today. And see you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.